let's start getting to a little bit more tricky stuff now. What happens if you want three quarters of an apple or three quarters of a beat? Well, musically, we don't have a note by itself that represents three quarters of a beat. So we can kind of cut an apple into that shape and we can say the semiquaver is the quarter, we can put that aside, but it's difficult for us to represent that three quarters with our current musical setup. If we were to count it, we'd go like this, one, e, and, a. Uh. So one, e, and, a. Uh. Or we could swap the quarter and put it at the beginning and have this result where you've got the quarter first followed by the three quarters and it would go like this, one, e, and, a. Uh. One, e, and, a. Uh. So we still haven't worked out yet how to get these three quarters of a beat. And the answer to this is what's called a dotted quaver. A dotted quaver is our musical representation to show something represents three quarters of a beat or three quarters of an apple. And it's got this little formula that you kind of need to remember and it applies to any of our dotted notes. So what does a dot do? A dot next to a note lengthens its value by half. So you get the note, you get half of that note's value and you add them together. So there's three steps that we need to follow. Step one is what is the note's duration without a dot? So just its original uh, duration. Then what is half of the note's duration? So you divide it by two to get half and then you add both of those together. Let's apply this to the um, dotted quaver. So the first thing we're going to do is what is the note's duration without a dot? In this case, it's a quaver, so it's half. Step two, what is half of the note's duration? Well, half of a half is a quarter. And then step three is that we add them together. So our dotted quaver is actually a combination of a whole quaver plus half of its value or a quarter, and a half plus a quarter equals three quarters. And that's what a dot does. We can actually apply this to some other rhythmic values. So these aren't very common, but you do see them every now and then. If you get a semi-brief, which is worth four counts, and you divide it by two, which is, um, so four divided by two is two, and then step three is add them together. Four plus two equals six, and our dotted semi-brief is our symbol for something that is worth six counts. It also works with a minimum. So if we get a minimum, it's worth two. Half of a minimum is one. So two plus one, a dotted minimum equals three. And it even works with a crotchet. If we go for a crotchet, it's worth one. A dotted crotchet, well, you get the one, you add half of the original value. So here's half a finger and one plus a half equals one and a half. So our musical representation for when you want one and a half beats is a dotted crotchet. So it applies to any of our note values and for that matter, rest as well.